Hey guys, welcome back. So these are the silicone molds trays that we got in the Michaels grab bags the other day. So what I've done is I've took a wooden canvas board and I've set them in it just so they st because they are very flexible. This way they stay flat even when I move them to my drying rack. Um, so I'm using the cactus and the toucan. Um, I'm not going to use the top two of the molds because because of these little tabs here they lean up and it'll slant and not be level. So the colors we're going to use um, on the two cans we're going to make one in a metallic sapphire blue. We're going to do one in a moon yellow which is multi-surface from Folk Art. It's an enamel. Um, we're going to do one in Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Black. Maybe two. I think I made a little extra black. I wanted to do a neon pink, but the neon pink was transparent, so I added a little bit of the red color flash, just a drop, so it's kind of a reddish pinkish with a purple tint. Then on the cactus, I'm only going to do the small in cave of the cactus, and I've got a spring green and a Christmas tree green, because um, Bill said dark green and I thought light green. Um, and then once the small inlay of the cactus is done and it's completely cured, I'm going to come back in and do um, either a whole brown background for like a desert theme or I may try to slant it up a little bit and do the bottom part brown and then do like orange, you know, red, orange, and yellow for like the sunset as the background of the cactus. So that's why we're doing less in the cactus. So I'm just going to start with the, uh, also the two cans. Um, I'm doing the base color for each, and then when they're fully hardened, I'm going to take my paint markers and color in the beaks and feathers and their feet. Um, and the reason I chose blue for one is like Toucan Sam from the Fruit Loop box. So, you know, in case you didn't understand my thinking there. So I'm just going to take one, and I'm going to very carefully pour the resin in make sure it's kind of level. I want to make sure the feet and everything get done. Pour it really slowly right here. Let me kind of move it this way just a little bit. My table may be a little unlevel. Need to get his tail and up in his feet. Okay, and I'm going to torch him lightly. Don't want to burn the mold, and I'll torch them again in a little bit. Um, I do have some more black left, so I'll probably do another black one. I'm just going to stir this resin again since it's been a minute since I stirred it. Now we're going to do a blue one. This is a metallic blue sapphire, by the way, which I really like. Okay, we're gonna grab a little bit on the stick, drop it in his feet area, make sure that it goes down to the tail. There we go. We're gonna torch him. Torch the black one again. Then we're gonna do a yellow one. I like this yellow. It's almost like a neon yellow, but it's actually, um, this is the yellow I used. The multi-surface folk art moon yellow. I really like this yellow, but it's a thicker paint, so you have to use less with your resin because it's so much thicker. Because you use 10% by volume. Okay. Go back over the black and blue as we go. Keep them going. I actually have a little bit extra of most of these, but I also have a couple molds that I've been using to put extra paint in, so anything I have left over. And then this was the neon pink and the color shift red, which I'll show you in a minute. I wanted to do just neon pink, but 
it was very transparent and I didn't think it was going to look right, especially if I colored in parts. So let me show you that. So I used this neon pink from Folk Art. And then I added one tiny drop of the Color Shift Red Flash just to keep it from being too transparent. Okay, so I'm going to set these to the side real quick and then we'll decide what we do with those last two toucans. But I want to pour some of these cacti. Okay, I want to be very careful and just get it in this little concave. It's hard to see from way back here, but I'm leaning up to do so. Okay, there we go. Um, and so this one has a large and a small and then small, large and such. So I'm going to do one small and one large in the dark green. And then I'll do a small and a large in the light green. Oop, can't pull over that fast. Okay. There are my two dark green ones. Go back, retorch everything, and then we're going to do our spring green. Um, the dark green was Christmas green, just in case anybody wanted to know. I have to pour these smaller ones a little slower. I might even do some of these um, instead of doing like the sunset behind them. I might even do some where it looks like it's nighttime. So do like a black and blue sky. And maybe take a marker pen, a paint pen, and add stars or something. Okay, there's the light green. Let's torch those carefully. Go back over the dark green. Go back over the toucan. Okay. And now I've got two more toucans that I can fill up. And I do think I'm going to do one in black. Because I think I have enough black for one. I think that's the more natural color to do. Because I can paint on the yellow and red wings. I might have enough black. Stop it right there and scrape it. get it in his feet and his beaks and I had just enough <laughs> just barely put that over there torch it go back and torch these other ones because they do have quite a few bubbles want to keep them done it's low so I have to hold it up sometimes to I need to fill it up, you guys. Okay, and then these two aren't really raised that much. I'm actually thinking I can probably just tuck this green thing in here. 
No, nope, that made it more raised than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, so I have some green left, so I'm just going to do these, and if they slant a little, then the cactus won't be quite as tall, but they'll still be cactus, so... that one a little full so it's gonna make the cactus a little bit bigger than what it would have been on its own okay and then I'm going to use the light green on this one it's a smaller one so I'm gonna have to be a little slower with it I poured that dark green a little too fast and it overfilled. So that was my bad. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now if I turn it down. Okay, so now since you're here and I have this extra mold that I've always, lately anyway, been putting, oh I've got another toucan to do real quick. Um, so I think I'm going to do, do I have enough, which one do I have more of? I think I have more of the blue, so I think we're going to do a blue toucan. I'm going to put a little bit more in there, but I want to scrape it first. Make sure I get all of it. Torch my toucan Sam. Toucan some So this cacti might not work as good because I did pour too much in there. I'm wondering if I can actually just take some out real quick. Like scrape right through here where I got too much. Doubtful. Or just dig in here and take a scoop out <laughs> and then the rest will just kind of fill in worst case before I add the sand I can pull it out and take an exacto knife and cut off those few little spots of resin and do Okay, so I'm just going to slide this very carefully out of the way. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm going to sit this right here so you guys can see it. And we're going to put, since there's already that pink red color in there, I'm going to add the yellow as the next layer. edge right there. Um, it's a good layer. I will torch it. 
real good. And then I have a little bit of the light green, dark green, and the pink red color left. And I can't put anything else in that until that color sets. So I'll probably use it on a little project in a minute just because I'm not wasting resin. That's the thing about not wasting. have to fill that up or <laughs> go find another one but yeah so we'll come back when these are completely cured and we'll demold the two cans we'll decide what to add to the back of these and we'll have fun with it so I hope you guys enjoy this video